This is 2019 European Girls Met Olympiad uh, EGMO problem number four. And here's a view of this geometry problem. I also added a simple sketch of the problem to save time. Uh, we are given a uh, triangle ABC and the in center of this triangle, the point I is clearly marked on the picture. So this AI is an angle bisector. As you can see, those two angles are congruent. Uh, the circle that goes through the point B here, one of the vertices of our triangle, and that is tangent to AI. So if you extend AI, uh, AI in a sense uh, separates um, those two circles. So the first one is the circle that goes through B and I, and that's tangent to AI at the point I. And as such, because of this tangency, the line segment connecting uh, I to the center of that circle uh, is 90 degrees, as you can see in the picture. And in a similar way, we will draw a circle that goes through the point C and is tangent to AI again at the point I and that intersect AC at the point Q here. Um, so this circle, um, by the same reasoning, uh, angle um, the angle AI to that center of that new circle, this angle is 90 degrees. We are told it is so because of the tangency. And um, what else? Um, well, obviously, because you have two 90 degree angles next to each other, um, we can say that I, uh, the point I, which is the external tangent between these two circles, um, is on that segment connecting the centers of these two circles. So therefore, those three points are collinear indeed. Uh, given that, show uh, that PQ, uh, this segment PQ, is tangent to the in circle of triangle ABC. Um, well, you can, uh, what I did is I, I, I dropped the three uh, perpendiculars from the in center to the three sides of the triangle. So the in circle will go through, um, through those three points. Um, yeah, so you can um, you can you can have you can try to draw a nice picture and somehow um, magically those uh, this circle will be tangent to the line or I should say line segment PQ would be tangent to our circle. So I don't want to actually draw it. So I'll just uh, remove that circle. Basically, I don't need it. Um, so, but um, how how can I uh, how can I uh, prove that? Uh, the in circle would be PQ would be tangent to the in circle. Uh, there are a couple of very interesting ways to do that, and if you follow the um, the forum on AOPS uh, related to this problem, you can see quite some interesting solutions such as inversion um, with respect to a circle centered at point A uh, with radius AI. And that would be interesting to see how the points P and Q are mapped to new points based on that inversion. Or alternatively, using Pitot's theorem, uh, let me write that down, Pitot, uh, Pitot's theorem, um, just noticing that, just proving, uh, using some um, computational geometry, proving that uh, PQ plus uh, BC is equal to, and that's question mark, so that's what you guys should be doing, BP plus uh, BP plus CQ. That, if that's true, obviously, uh, that would also establish um, that the circle, which is already tangent to three of the sides of quadrilateral BPQC, will also be tangent to se segment PQ as well. Um, so inversion works, this method works here, uh, but alternatively I will be using power of uh, point A to establish some cyclic quadrilaterals and from there I will just be doing angle chasing. So it will be purely synthetic uh, solution which hopefully you, you guys will enjoy. Uh, at the beginning I need to chase some lengths and the best way would be uh, to um, to notice some uh, cyclic quad. I claim that BPQC is cyclic, and the best way to see that is to observe that the point A uh, is situated on the radical axis of these two circles. Uh, you can call this one omega B and this one as omega C, if you will, and it is clear. 
right? So because uh, you have this tangency, AI is tangent to our circle, um, to both circles, I should say, and as such, AI is the radical axis. So AI is the uh, radical axis of uh, omega b and omega c and as such a has equal powers with respect to both circles and the implication of this is that a p times a b this is the power of the point a with respect to omega b is simply equal to a q times uh, a c now what you can do is you can organize this expression so we would simply get that ap to ac is equal to aq to ab um, the way that these segments correspond with each other these ratios suggest that uh, triangle well if you combine it and combining it with the fact that angle paq paq is simply congruent to angle CAB, CAB. So you combine these two results. The, the 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 consequence, the result is that triangle um, um, BAC, BAC is simply uh, similar uh, to triangle BAC, QAP, um, and it's clear also from these uh, ratios as well. PAC, QAB. QAB or QAP, I should rather say. QPA? P, uh, wait. BAC and QAP, yes. Um, BAC, QAP, yeah, that would be right. And uh, that would imply that basically angle uh, AQP, AQP, uh, AQP is simply equal to ABC, or you can just call it angle B. And similarly, angle APQ is equal to angle C. Um, and yeah, so this is obvious because of the similar uh, triangles. So this is simply angle C. This angle is congruent to that one. That's angle C. And this angle here, which we can mark as B, is obviously congruent to this one. That's really nice. Um, I will just go ahead and do now the, in the second part some angle chasing. And to begin my angle chasing, I'll just connect PI and uh, QI as well. I, I will actually employ symmetry. Let's just focus on PI. Uh, we can uh, chase uh, the angles um, in the following way. I, I want to make use of the tangency condition here. Notice the following. So if I connect PI, I think it's clear that uh, this angle here is B over 2. And this angle is B over 2 because they subtend the same minor arc PI. So that's B over 2. But that one was A over 2. Remember, it was an angle bisector. AI was an angle bisector. So therefore, this angle here turns out uh, to be A plus B all divided by 2. But A plus B can be replaced with 180 minus C all divided by 2. So which is just 90 minus C over 2. Let's write that down here. So this angle here is 90 minus C over 2 angle C over 2. But wait, the whole if this angle was C here, that would have that would mean that angle QPB is uh, 180 minus C. But then that would imply that this angle is also 90 minus C over 2. Do you guys see that? The whole thing angle BPQ is 180 minus C. As a result, because this one is 90 minus C over 2, that one is also 90 minus C over 2 because they add up to 180 minus C. But that would mean that PI is just an angle bisector. So the conclusion, uh, if I move this, so therefore uh, we can see that angle BPI, BPI is simply congruent to IPQ. Uh, similarly, uh, similarly, angle uh, this angle is also these two angles are also congruent and uh, they are both congruent to 90 minus b over 2 right uh, so let's write that down uh, similarly or analogously you can say uh, angle um, uh, I called it BPI so I'll, let me call it CQI CQI 
is just equal to uh, angle uh, IQ, IQP, IQP by just simple angle chasing again. For instance, uh, this angle here is, uh, well, if you extended this one, this one was C over 2. That would suggest this one is also C over 2 by uh, by, by just focusing your attention on minor arc IQ on, on, on circle omega C. And from there, adding A over 2 and C over 2 here, that would give us B over 2, 90 minus B over 2 over here. And similarly, this one is also 90 minus B over 2. But then wait, like I said, PI is an angle bisector. QI is an external angle bisector of PQI. So therefore, we have two angle by external angle bisectors of triangle APQ and the external angle bisectors of course will meet I would happen to be come so let's write that down uh, this would imply I is external uh, well X I should say X center or I should rather say a X center a a triangle has three X centers a X center of triangle APQ. Uh, but then if A is the uh, if I is the A X center of uh, this triangle APQ and noticing that the in circle of triangle uh, ABC is tangent to AP and AQ extended obviously at these two points. Let's call these points as D E F. So therefore I uh, the, the in circle of triangle ABC happens to be the X circle of triangle APQ and obviously it has to be tangent and boom. So that would imply that um, um, X circle, well in circle, let's first start with in circle. Uh, in circle, since in circle of triangle ABC uh, as a result would be is uh, X circle of triangle APQ and I hope that's clear like I said um, the in circle is tangent at the points F and E uh, to the sides AP and AQ or AC if you will extended AQ extended and um, well uh, it's on AI as well and uh, and it is also on these two angle bisectors. <laughs> so this is I is the X, AX center. So the circle as a result uh, would be, of course, would be tangent to the reference triangle APQ, right? Uh, that's a property of the X circle. X circle is always tangent to a given triangle. And in this case, triangle APQ, it is tangent to the segment PQ. And, um, and, and that's it. And we are done with this uh, problem and hope to see you guys uh, in our next lecture.